Hi, I'm CJ with Starter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build this really cool DIY bar stool. So back to what I was saying. Now to start out this project, like most, you're going to want to start by going to your local big box store and picking out eight 2x4s that are eight feet long. And from there, you're going to want to go in and check to make sure that these don't have any bends or warped boards and finally you're going to start to make your cuts here and now these cuts are going to be depending on the actual size of your bar top so you can modify these based on a couple different factors and I'll actually have links in the descriptions below to some of the plans that I modified and used to make these specific bar stools um, but essentially here what you're seeing me doing is cutting those cross pieces and cutting those pieces uh, for the short legs and the tall legs as well as well as those seated planks um, and the underside of the seat. So that is actually what you'll see here that I'm doing on the miter saw. And I think one of the key things you're going to want to keep in mind is to, to label each of these pieces as you're making these cuts because by the end of it you're going to have quite a variety of different cuts and the best way to keep everything organized and simple is to keep those labeled. From there I went ahead and uh, actually uh, put these through the table saw and cut off an eighth of an inch on each side. I don't really like that rounded over look that uh, they have on these construction lumbers. So with those, I went ahead and put them through the table saw to cut off just an eighth of an inch to give it more of a straight edge on each side. And that is what you're seeing me here doing on each of the, the pieces, um, whether that be the cross pieces, the tall legs, the short legs, the seated planks, uh, as well as every other piece and so forth. Now we get into drilling the pocket holes and the pocket holes are going to be on the 11 inch pieces and the 13 inch pieces and essentially these are your cross pieces or the cross depth pieces that are connecting the short and tall legs. Uh, each of these pieces, the 11 inch and 13 inch pieces, are going to get four pocket holes each. Um, so be sure to set your Craig jig for the correct stock um, depending on what uh, type of wood you are using for these different bar stools as well. Leading into this, you're going to go ahead and start to construct uh, the different um, legs here. So we're actually going to start by assembling the tall ladder here, which is what you'll see me doing here. And really it is just ensuring that each section is level, each section is square. And then from there, we're just going ahead and putting in those two and a half inch pocket hole screws. I'm using four on each uh, cross section piece here and just ensuring that each thing is clamped down, everything is flush as well as square. From there, you're going to want to go ahead and transition over into the shorter legs, and these are going to only have a top supporting piece as well as that bottom supporting piece, whereas the tall legs are going to have a couple different uh, sections of the cross pieces, which you'll see in the next picture here. Um, you can see by now you should have two of these different pieces uh, actually constructed, and here is your tall leg section moving over into the tall and short leg section. And from here, we're going to want to go ahead and start to put these together. It's as simple as making sure everything's aligned and putting those cross pieces in place, checking for levelness, checking for squareness, again, uh, making sure you have clamps. It is a lot easier if you do have another hand, if you have someone else in your household to help you put this together. It'll make things go a lot smoother. Um, and here again, I'm just using those two and a half inch pocket hole screws to um, attach everything. And then going into the seated planks here, so again, I'm making uh, modified cuts to ensure that these planks are the correct length as we're putting these on the top of the bar stool. Uh, here I'm just using some, some type on two to kind of secure down these different planks. As far as spacing, you could use a spacer. I just kind of eyeballed it in regards to what I thought looked good. Again, this is personal preference and ensure to wipe some of the glue. After that, you're going to want to clamp it down. You could put some weights on like I have here to apply more pressure. And then finally, I am filling in those pocket holes on the back end with just some glue and sawdust. You could use a wide variety of different methods for this. This was just the easiest for me, um, and it saved me some money in the long run. So um, after this, we're actually going to get in and remove the clamps, remove the weight, and we are going to add the underside of the seated planks. Um, I'm just using brad nails to secure these in. Uh, you could use screws. It really is personal preference. And then from there, going into sanding. I started with a 120 and worked all the way up to 220 uh, for my sanding preferences as well. 
And then lastly, we moved in over to the um, staining process. And I actually started by just using a simple wood conditioner for that as well as um, a stain. And I believe both these products were Minwax. Uh, you can pick this up at your local hardware store. Um, very easy to find, very affordable for these different projects. Um, so when applying the wood conditioner, you know, obviously you're going to want to use a minimal amount, but you're going to want to ensure that it does kind of penetrate the wood. Uh, so typically you want to apply that and let it sit for around three to five minutes. And then from there, you're going to start applying your stain. So hopefully this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below or um, check out the links below for the additional plans and cut sizes that I used on this project.